Open enrollment kicks off in mid-November for folks getting coverage through the health insurance marketplace. But just last week, the IRS started notifying taxpayers who may have to pay back some of the credit they received when they signed up. Chief Consumer Investigator Zanetta Lowe explains what taxpayers can do, plus advice from one health advocate who says the news is nothing to worry about. I'm a retiree. My wife's a retiree for the city. So when their health insurance premiums were increasing, Joseph Ballard says they signed up for insurance through the health care marketplace. I went through healthcare.gov and I turned around did everything step by step. Shortly afterwards, Ballard's wife took on a part-time job. The government contacted him to make sure he noted the change in income. Ballard says it would mean a small difference in the subsidy they were getting every month, which was no problem, except somehow his policy got canceled altogether. When they turned around and they did the adjustment, they, turned, they didn't tell me that they were going to cancel the insurance. All they told me that I would have to pay the difference. Ballard's policy was reinstated, but he's still disputing charges from about two weeks when he says he didn't have coverage at all. Health and Human Services told WREG miscommunication led to the termination, which was a mistake, but there should not have been a lapse in coverage. Meanwhile, the government says consumers need to report life changes as soon as possible. That's because the tax credit consumers get for buying coverage is based on income.